If you saw my last video, I'm just happy to have this pair. What's good guys, Ash Bash, back again with another sneaker review. And I'm sure you saw my last video, crazy story about these kicks. I won't go into it again. I'll link it down below if you didn't see it, but crazy times. I'm just happy to have these. So let's open them up and show you these kicks. So this right here is a review for the Jordan 3 Retro JTH in the Bio Beige colorway. And damn, super excited to have these. Super excited to show you about them as well. If you don't know about the whole JTH thing, uh, it's basically to do with Justin Timberlake and Tinker Hatfield. And a lot of those details are seen straight away on this box. His last album is called Man of the Woods and you can see the whole wood theme going on with this crazy box right here. I didn't know it was as sick as this before. I'd never actually seen the box of these. Super duper fire. It's got a sort of woods background there with the Jumpman, very cool. On the edge of the box here, you've got the Man of the Woods logo as well. Very, very nice touch. Uh, colorway wise, these are Bio Beige and Bio Beige Camellia. Not sure what that means, but it's kind of like a brownie color anyways. Enough about that, let's open these up. So open these shoes up, more details again. It's got the Man of the Woods logo here and you've got a whole big sort of forest going on here with the woods. Very nice touch with the paper. And then in here reveals the shoe. And goddamn it's nice. Woo! And I see spare laces straight away. That's what I'm talking about. So, boom. Here are the shoes. In all their glory. And yeah. Super duper duper fire. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. If you haven't seen these shoes before, you might have seen them in my reviews before for the Tinker Hatfield Jordan 3s. Very similar idea. There was also, I think that even came out before that, was the first GTA, JTH, which was in like a white cement sort of colorway inspired. This one obviously is the Man in the Woods, Bio Beige, all that craziness, but let's show some close-ups. These are a lot. So starting off the shoe, it is pretty much silhouette-wise your standard Jordan 3 sneaker. One of the better models for me, easily top three. Used to be number one, but it floats about in that one or two spot with me, but super duper fire. One of the more comfortable Jordans as well. Material wise, they've actually killed it with this. For once, they've actually used some pretty, pretty nice suede on this material. Like they've actually gone premium. The price of this was super premium, so it's about time they did that. I found that the Tinker Hatfields are pretty good materials as well. So shout out to them at least doing that if they're gonna up the price for us. But yeah, for the upper hair from the toe box going on to the side of the shoes, all in this lovely premium suede. You get to the midsole hair, which is in that bio beige colorway, but this is in the leather. Pretty nice leather as well going around the toe of the shoe all the way around to the medial and lateral sides of the shoe. Very nice touch. Then you get the boom, 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 the swoosh, the controversial swoosh. Some people love it, some people don't. That's what separates the standard Jordan 3 from like a Tinker Hatfield or a JTH. This one here is done in Bio Beige and it's also a 3M swoosh. So put your flash on and this one will shine bright like a diamond. And you'll see that very nice touch. You've also got on the toe guard here and towards the back of the shoe, this black uh, elephant print. Very nice touch. Black elephant print for some reason just looks super dope and it looks dope again here. The back heel tab. No jump man, just Nike Air and the swoosh. Very nice touch. That's all in white with the black. Uh, Medium side of the shoe, a bit different. No swoosh on this side, but it says higher on this one. I'm not sure if the other shoe says something different. No, it says higher as well. I'm not 100% sure, but I remember reading something about the whole colorway and the whole shoe, what it was inspired by was one of the songs on the album. I feel like it was called Higher or Higher something, so I will write that down below if it is, but I can't remember for sure, but that's what's written inside here. No swoosh. Uh, the tongue is an all leather tongue, pretty much. Perforated holes through the middle, and then a big embossed jump man on the top. Uh, the lower five eyelets here are done in yellow, nice contrast. Then you've got three hits here in bio beige plastic. Then the top two hits are in black. Nice contrast of the three. Uh, behind the tongue here has Tinker Hatfield's signature. I would guess that Justin Timberlake signature is on this pair, but we shall see, and yes it is. Justin Timberlake signature behind on this pair. Nice touch, predictable, I saw it coming. Uh, and that's also in orange, which is a nice little touch. 
you also get some spare laces, which I mentioned before, which I'm gassed about. You've got orange spare laces on here that are flat. And you've got bio beige spare laces here that are also flat. The laces that come on the sneaker are these sort of leather laces. I'm not a big fan of. I've got them on the Jordan 1 Golden Harvest. Not a fan of them on there. So I'll definitely be changing these. Might do a sort of off-white thing with one orange, one bio beige. Possibly what I'll go for, I guess you will see. But yeah, uh, also I've got this Tinker Hatfield little tag here. Nice touch, came with the Tinker Hatfield as well. I'm surprised I don't have a Justin Timberlake one. That would be a nice touch. But it doesn't say, yeah, it's just a Tinker Hatfield one. I guess he designed it, he's gonna get his name on it. Fair play to the dude. Midsole of the shoe, it's all in the all white foam. Obviously towards the back it's got this little black piece. Then you've got the air bubble which you can see there which is red, which is clear. Then the bottom of the shoe, pretty standard. Grey, orange and white. And it's got Nike there written in orange. And I think I pretty much covered most of the shoe. Yeah, I think I have. Anywho, gonna chuck them on the feet, show you what they're like, tell me what you think. Let go. And we back, that was a quick look at the Jordan 3 JTH Bio Beige on feet. Tell me what you think. I'm super gassed, super hype. I've seen so many of my people on Instagram rocking these and I was just so jealous thinking, oh man, I copped them but didn't get them, but finally got them, super gassed. I think they look fire. And damn, my top 10 <laughs> Sneaker pickups of the year or top 20, whatever I end up doing, it's gonna to be tough because I really did my top five of the year so far. The Tinker Hatfields are number one, but I bought so much fire since then. Add these to it, crazy times. Anywho, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, upload sneaker reviews as and when I pick stuff up and videos every single Monday with me talking about this and that. Follow me on Instagram, Ashbash Sneakers, Twitter as Perfection7. All the links are down below. I'm out. Radio.